Thank you, Acting Deputy Chair. Well, it wasn't that long ago I woke up a Friday morning after estimates after a late night uh, only to have my wife text me to say there will be some heavy weather, weather coming into Brisbane because overnight there had been about four inches of rain, uh, which shocked me. It shocked me because I checked the forecast the day before and the Bureau of Meteorology hadn't forecast any rain. And it's just another example of the many failed forecasts that the Bureau has made throughout this summer. Originally they forecast it was going to be dry and it has been an extremely wet summer in Queensland, uh, unfortunately to the detriment of many Queenslanders who have been caught on the hop by a Bureau who is no longer focused on doing their job properly and forecasting weather. And that is because for far too long they have been spending way too much money on the climate division and not on the weather division. And all of this, this is nothing new because I have here a report, 2011 report, independent peer review from 2011. And let me tell you what it says. It says the World Meteorological Organisation guide states that an acceptable range of error for thermometers for measuring maximum and minimum temperatures is plus or minus 0.2 degrees. However, throughout the last 100 years, the bomb guidance has allowed for a tolerance of plus or minus half a degree. This is the primary reason why the panel did not rate the observing practices amongst international best practices. Another one. The review uh, should also. Hang on, I'll pick another couple of uh, mistakes here. Just bear with me. Before public release of the ACORN SAT data, the Bureau should determine and document the reasons why the new data set shows a lower average temperature in the period prior to 1940 than is shown by data by previous international analysis of Australian temperature. More proof of homogenisation of the Bureau fudging records rather than doing their job. Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.